G'day everyone, today I'm going fly fishing in a small stream with Andrew Colston. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. If I can get one in, backhander. There's one under it, he's under it, he's under it, he's turning, he's following it, he's following it. Oh, he took off, he must have seen me. Oh, Samba Deer Rub Tree. It's a wombat. <laughs> he's running up the hill and he's stopped. He's run out of breath. He's gone kind of halfway up the hill and he's puffed. <laughs> I know how you feel, mate. <laughs> yeah, but it's hard to cast that distance, eh? I can cast me four bait that far. Oh, the master at work. Well done, mate. There he goes. Hey, later, mate. We, the team, are on the board. <laughs> hey. I found bro's sunglasses. What are they, the V3s? You found bro's sunglasses. <laughs> spare, spare pair for Holly. <laughs> she loves those sort of glasses. Great cast. You got him. Oh, he hit the nymph. Yeah. I saw. I saw the dry go under. It's been under again. I might have snagged it. Yeah. I saw the dry go under from way back here. So how does it feel to actually have a fish on the end of your line? Does it feel all right? <laughs> That's two now. I have an hook one. I really, I really should have a nymph underneath my dry, but I just, it, I find it more relaxing just fishing one fly because I don't get fouled up as often. That deserves a fish. Have you still got a nymph on? Oh, I saw that. Did he take the nymph? Near trout experience. Not a second to lose. Oh, on the dry. Oh, was it on the dry or the, <laughs> the nymph? On the nymph. See you later, mate. The man's on fire, there's no stopping him. <laughs> Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! More time to shine! Go dry or die! <laughs> I'm on the border last. Here we go, folks. Lovely brownie on the half down hopper. Lovely trout. Say hi to mate. Off he goes. Right, well this has been a lot harder than I thought it would be. We've seen a lot of fish, but we're just having trouble getting them to rise to the fly, but we've just picked a couple of quick ones up in succession. Who knows, with a bit of luck, that could be a sign that they're about to come on the bite. Sometimes when you're dry fly fishing in the autumn, the uh, middle of the day can be the best when everything warms up and the bugs or the wings start to dry out and 
There's a bit of bug activity early in the morning, like a damp morning like this morning with quite a heavy dew. Isn't good for fly fishing, not dry fly fishing anyway. So now that things are warming up, maybe the fish might become a bit more active with a bit of luck. Got him! Here's a nicer one. Oh, there's no stopping me now, Andy. Hey? There's no stopping me now. Two in, two in about 20 metres. I've got my eye in. <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't a case of not having my eye in. I just couldn't, uh, get the, we just couldn't get the fish to rise to our, to, to our flies. See you later, mate. See that? He charged over to your fly then. Oh no, he snapped me off. Oh, you, you snapped him off. Yeah. <laughs> you reckon? Oh, sorry, mate. I can see two trout there, but I bet you neither of them, neither of them rise to this fly. Got him. Oh, he, he, he took it. He took it straight away. <laughs> I didn't think either of them would. He was can you believe that? After you just lost that fish, then I thought oh, this. Got my fly in your mouth, in his mouth, Robbie. I'm pretty sure, aren't you? No, no, I think the, the other one oh, must have been the mum. Yeah. I thought it was him. There was two next to each other. Oh, there it is, right there. Look. He's found your. How good is that? He did. He removed it. I'm going to put this fish back. Check oh. this out. Andy struck too hard on a fly and snapped the line, which I've done a million times. And then the fish dropped the fly, and he just picked up and got his flies back. <laughs> So there was two fish, we hooked them both and neither of us lost our flies. How that? A bit of a win for everyone, even the fish, because they're still in the water. <laughs> and he's hooked up. Awesome. He's got a bit of a mark on his back. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Cormac or something might have hit him. So Andy, I've been meaning to ask you, what's it like being the main character in one of Australia's most famous songs, Waltzing Matilda? Did you know you're in the song? <laughs> Andy sang, Andy waltzed, Andy waited until his billy boiled. <laughs> oh my god, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no, I'm not going to laugh at you for catching the tree because I do it all the time. But I am going to show people that you caught the tree. I'm just not... I'm just not going to laugh at you for no, doing that. You should put it in. <laughs> no, because I'm going to go around the corner and I'm going to do it too. <laughs> well, I've caught something big down here. He got off, thankfully. Now, for anybody wondering, I may have mentioned it, but I'm using a half down hopper and it's a very shagged up looking one because it's caught quite a lot of fish. And I bought this off Darren Asquith at Untamed Flies in Benalla. I gave him a shout out recently but couldn't remember the name of his shop. Half Down Hopper from Untamed Flies in Benalla. What are you using, Andy? I'm using a Royal Humpy. A Royal Humpy? With a brown... Beet-headed nymph. nymph. Yeah. Andy's got a Royal Humpy, so we've got a Royal Humpy with a, a brown weighted nymph and a Half Down Hopper. Actually, I might as well tell everyone what, what, what rods we're using because people always ask. I've got a TFO, TFO signature two, six foot, two weight, two piece. What's yours? Mine is a Primal Conquest, eight foot, four weight. Okay, so Andy's got a four weight and I've got a two weight. So Andy's got casting advantage over me, but I've got advantage of fishing in tighter spots because I've only got a six foot long rod. We've got all bases covered. Got him. <laughs> where, 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 he's, he's trying to pass me like a missile. <laughs> Didn't he ever? There we go. Nah, this match is all good. Another nice brown on the half down. Another nice brown on the half down. Rhymes. See you later, mate. Awesome. Righto. 
There was always going to be a fish in this run, wasn't there? Got him. I watched him come and grab that. <laughs> I've got my eye in Andy. I've got it right at the back of the hole. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to uh, get any underwater release footage. I'm just going to get this bloke back. And then I'm going to see if I can get a second fish out of the same hole. You reckon I can do it? And then, uh, then you can take the reins after this pool. What do you reckon? Take it in turns. We've got a bit of a system going here. It's a good system too. I fish 500 metres and you get 50 metres and it's my turn again. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, that plan didn't work. Right. Nah, you'll go. You go, amigo. <laughs> Just here, do you need a hand to get the fly out? No, Got him. I just caught I just caught Andy's fish, the poor bugger he was he was casting to a rising fish because it was his turn and then he had caught that tree which happens to all of us. I've got to add that in, it's not just an Andy thing, it happens to me too. So I said, Do you mind if I just fish this bit while you're retying your flies just to save a bit of time? And I've caught Andy's fish. Andy sang, Andy waltz, Andy caught the biggest tree on the creek. Lovely. As they say, go dry or die. Right on. Yeah. I won't need to film that one in slow motion, it swam off so slowly. I just real casually just swam over there and just sitting there. Right now while I'm getting organised, one of the first things I'm gonna do is dry my fly with some some top ride, some silicon little thingies. So it goes in wet comes out dry like a new one anyway I just want to give a big shout out a shout out to a channel that I really enjoy watching and that's D-Max Fishing and Fun there's a bloke about my age maybe a bit younger up in Albury Wodonga shift worker high vis shirt starts every video with g'day guys what's crack a lacking he's a laid back fishing channel and I really enjoy it love your work D-Max I just hit stop on my camera just as Andy hooked up I'm sitting here having a break while Andy's just fishing this uh, run and I hear this quick splash. Nice one. Holly does that to me. Every time you see a yellow car go past she says spotto then wax me. Got him. Oh! I, I thought I stuffed felt a fair bit of weight. I hooked him good. Well not good enough. Can't hooked him too good. I thought I might have snapped the fly because I hit him pretty hard. I've always been a very fast striker. Oh, missed him too slow that time, I think. Got him. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't too fast, I wasn't too slow, but I wasn't hard enough. How do you go? How do you go slow but hard? Not allowed to answer that question until after nine pm. <laughs> Got him! Oh, I done him! <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that fly was on the water for about two seconds when that fish grabbed it. I reckon. That's a better one. Got him. Oh, he put him straight into the rock, the poor thing. I watched him swim down and grab it. Little fella. Oh, and a little bike, this one. I mean, they're all. None of them are big, but he's not as big as the other small ones, if that makes sense. 
these are the smaller, one of the smaller ones I've caught today. I'm going to release them in the real shallow water. See you later, mate. I don't even know which way you went. Well, Andy and I are having an absolute blast up here today. We've caught a heap of fish and we've still got a fair bit of water to fish, so hopefully we can get a few more. But we didn't do so well in the first couple of hours and what I reckon's happened, we got here too early. The ground was, look, Andy's hooked up up there now right while I'm talking. How good's that? Oh, he got off. <laughs> when we first got here, there was a lot of dew on everything. Everything was cool. The grasses had dew on it and there was no insect life. We saw fish swimming around. It was very hard to even get any of them to look at the fly. But then once everything got warm and dry, we started seeing bugs. You can see butterflies flying around now. There was none of that this morning. We started seeing butterflies, bees, grasshoppers. And once all the insect life started becoming active, the fish started feeding off the surface. Oh, no, that was the fish of the day. That was the fish of the day, that one. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Watched him come and grab it. Yeah. Give me a little bit of curry on the two weight. Yeah, that is one of the bigger ones of the day, wouldn't it? You reckon that's the fish of the day? I reckon that's the fish of the day. Looking at him, especially in thickness, anyway. It's quite a nice little fish. Yeah, you want to hold that for me? Absolutely. Legend. Duh. You got a photo of him. Oh yeah, he's the fish of the day for sure, yeah. Right, hey, fish of the day. He's in a hurry to get going, isn't he? Absolutely. Having fun? Absolutely. We're having a blast. <laughs> My level of professionalism is on full display. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Jumping out of the water, mate. Beautiful. Lovely. In the sun, I'll get some underwater really. Awesome. Got him. I wasn't even looking at me fly. I was looking up there because something distracted me. I was something, like, my fly landed, then I saw something fly over. I looked up, then just happened to look down and see a, uh, me fly get taken. That's probably why I hooked it, because I didn't hook too fast, because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah. Lovely fish. The old half down hopper's looking a bit waterlogged. Have a look at it. <laughs> but it's still catching fish. See you later, mate. All of the fish that I've caught today have been on this one fly, this half down hopper. But it's just been knocked around and uh, it's been nibbled and chewed and swallowed and gulped. <laughs> it's just, it's stuffed. <laughs> so I'm going to change. I might put on a royal stimulator. I like them. They both look good. I started off with a stimulator this morning and didn't do much good, but that doesn't mean much. It was a pretty quiet time of the day. We're actually not that far from the car now, so I'll put this on to see how it goes for the last last little bit. Alright, with my Royal Stimulator and my even shorter leader, it's time to go. My leader's about the same length as Gladstone Small's neck. Do you know who he is? No, I don't, but I could imagine if... He's a... He's a a cricketer that used to play for England, I don't know what the political correct word is. The black, dark fella, I don't know. You get in trouble no matter what I say. He's a, he's a dark skinned fella that yeah, played yeah, cricket yeah. for England yeah. and he had no neck. His, uh, his shoulders had come right up to his ears just yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. 
Got him. That was a fluke. I lifted me right up to make a back cast and he must have just grabbed it at the right time. No, no, we, we'll, we'll, what we'll say is that I watched him come up from underneath it and I just timed that strike to perfection. <laughs> no, I went to go to the back cast and then I lifted it there was a, it started swimming. First fish on the stimulator. The royal stimmy. See you later, mate. Andy's hooked up over here. I was talking to my camera, I said Andy's hooked up over here. I took a shortcut and came around here and left, left Andy with that bit of water and he's made good use of it. Didn't he ever? We might have a new fish of the day here. Beautiful. Well done. Very well played. Beautiful fish. The two main takeouts from this trip is that the faster water is more productive than the slower water because in the slower water the trout can study the fly a lot longer. In the faster water they've got to take it or leave it, so make sure you fish the fast water. And if you're fly fishing, the middle of the day is best. It was dead this morning, it was really, really slow. It's been slow for the last hour, but during the day when they just went nuts during the warmest part of the day. Folks, don't forget to check out Andy's, Andy's YouTube channel. I'll put a link for that now or an end screen to that so you can click over and check out his awesome videos. Thank you all very much for watching.